Recently, we talked about every item, block, and mob that is missing from Survival Superflat on Java Edition. Someone made their own cool data pack that adds all that stuff in using some of our ideas and some ideas of their own. Today, I'm on a copy of my flat world and we're going to see if it's possible to get every single missing thing in Superflat Survival in one day. Cause I gotta upload this tomorrow. Let's go. So the first thing I wanna try is Deep Slate. Instead of doing a generator, he made a crafting recipe for it with basalt and obsidian. Look at that, okay, okay. So I've never like crafted all the alternatives here. I guess you have to mine it to get cobbled Deep Slate. Nice. So we got Deep Slate and cobbled Deep Slate. Deep Slate bricks, whoa. Deep Slate tiles? Chiseled Deep Slate almost looks like a shulker box. So I'm guessing you just have to smelt deep slate tiles and bricks to get the cracked version. Oh yeah, here we go. Wow, what a cool family of blocks. I really wish we actually had these. All right, another recipe is tough and I think it's supposed to be cobble and andesite. So let's try that out. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's such a cool block. All right, this is one I'm insanely excited to try out. So we can right click, is that right? Oh no, you, oh, you break it. That's so cool. And dead bush. These are so pretty. Man, I wish I had these. All right, let's give the flowers a shot. I think I've got this right. Make a little bone meal and anything? Oh, maybe not. Oh, it's a crafting recipe. I see. Wow, that's so sick. Man, oh, I really wish I had these. It would make my terraforming so much better. Okay, here's another one I think we can do. Vine surrounded by glow ink, or maybe it's just like this. <gasps> glow lichen. Oh, perfect, the sun is going down. I wanna see how this stuff glows. Okay, it's it's pretty subtle, but I, it's there, I guess. It's there, I can see it, it's glowing. Okay, so for the coral and coral fans, I'm pretty sure we just use a fortune pick. Oh yeah, look at that. This is so cool. And so if we do this again, I'm pretty sure, yeah, we got the fans. Dude, these are so cool, oh man. Plus the dead versions for like interior decorating. Ugh, I don't know why I'm making this video. This is actually torture. I love all these items, I wish they were in super flat. Okay, this next one is kinda weird, but we're gonna try it out. So you put down an end stone and put lava on top of it and wait for it to spread to all sides. And then I think if we mine it, it'll turn into sponge. Let me try fortune pick. Yeah, that's so cool. Okay, let's, uh, let's give this sponge a shot. Yo, I know it just all filled back in, but like if I actually properly set something up, oh man, this would be so nice to have. So if you couldn't tell, I'm remaking our chart here on the ground. Hopefully from above, it'll look cool. So for this next one, we're going to the top of this mountain, which is the highest point in my flat world right now. And we're gonna pillar way up and see if we can get snow, powder snow, and ice. Alrighty, I've got a nice setup here at the top of the world and, oh, we've already got ice. Okay, we've already got ice. Now we just gotta wait for powder snow and snow. So I'm just gonna AFK for a bit and hope for rain. Oh, oh, it started snowing. It started snowing. Oh my gosh. We got snow layers. And if I punch this, I guess I'll get snowballs, no? Okay, I made a normal shovel. Yeah, there we go. Snow block. Okay, I have a feeling the powder snow is gonna take forever. So I'm gonna go put away the ice, the snow and the snow blocks. And we're probably gonna have to AFK overnight for that. Okay, so snow. Snow layers and ice. 
So this is where it starts to get a little hard. For a lot of the next stuff, I have to do a lot of searching through bastion chests, pillager outpost chests, ruined portal chests. It's gonna take a while, but I'm just gonna fly around and hopefully we can pull it off. Let's go. Let's go, first ruined portal I tried had the turtle egg. All right, this is the first pillager outpost I've seen. Let's let's see if we got anything interesting. Any pandas? Ah! Don't don't shoot. I think the chest has some interesting stuff maybe. Potatoes. <gasps> cocoa beans. We don't have those. Nice. Yo, cocoa beans. That's so sick. All right, just found my second pillager outpost. Let's see. <gasps> yes, sweet berries and bamboo. I think that's everything. Dude, I got super lucky. Wait, but do we have pandas? There's a panda! So I think for what I'm gonna do for the mobs is just try to get a photo with each type of mob that I'm missing. So that way I don't have to get them all in one place. This is really intimidating, but... Panda, smile. This'll have to do. Another ruined portal. Maybe we can get another set of turtle eggs. Yes! All right, I'm gonna head back to base. All right, guys, we got so much sweet stuff on that excursion. We found the turtle eggs, sweet berries, cocoa beans, and bamboo. And we can even grow the bamboo. And then I think it's string to make scaffolding? Yep, it's string. Looking good. While I was out at the pillager outpost, I grabbed one of these carved pumpkins so that we can try to make a snow golem real quick. So let's just get a little cage for this guy set up so he doesn't go running off. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Hello, little buddy. No, look at the camera. Man, I want these guys. They're so cute. Okay, I found a giant bastion and there's a dog down there. There's a little wolfie. I'm so happy. I didn't bring any bones because I'm just gonna take a picture with him. All right, I'm hoping I can do this without just getting totally owned by piglin brutes. Mycelium, yes! Ow, okay, I gotta find a way out of here. Doggy, look at the camera. I'm just gonna dig my way out. At this point, we've completed most of the stuff on our chart here. We still need to AFK long enough to get the powdered snow. And then there's the prismarine stuff and the amethyst stuff. So I guess it's time to go explore the end. All right, guys, I've been flying for a while and I think I'm probably in new generation by now. So I'm gonna try to set up an X-ray machine and see if we can spot any geodes inside these end islands. I think this setup will work, so let me try this out. I'm gonna put a slab here and push this into me. Oh, oh, it's like cut off, that's weird. Uh, let's see, let me see if I can try to go dig to that. Looks like it was somewhere here-ish. Oh, we got it, we got it, calcite baby. This looks so cool. Oh, maybe we need to use fortune to get the actual crystals. Yeah, there we go. Dang, this should really be a feature. Uh, it, it makes so much sense in the end. It even like goes with the end stone in a weird way. I would love if they added this, but I think we have everything we needed from here. So I'm gonna pack up and go home. Tinted glass, baby, this is so sick. Okay, so I think a few things are gotten by fishing. So I'm gonna try doing a little bit of fishing right now. Wish me luck. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Wait, I should take a picture with it. Those were terrible pictures. Oh my, I got Prismarine. Ah, another one. I have enough. I made Prismarine. Get back here. What is up? Wait, come back. I need a I need a picture. 
You know, I feel like Mojang would actually love this Guardian fishing mechanic because it really would prevent you from AFK fishing because the Guardian's just going to kill you. Dang, even if I had to fish every last Guardian by hand, it would be worth it to get these blocks. All right, so I really should have done this while I was fishing, but we got to hatch this turtle egg. So I think we just put it on the sand over here and wait. I have no idea how long this takes, so hopefully it's not that bad. So while we're waiting for this puppy to hatch, I'm gonna see if I can try to lure a zombie into the water. We have to convert him to a drowned and then make him walk over this sponge to become a husk. Come on, buddy. Oh, that's a lot of zombies. All right, we got one, we got one. This is our guy, I can feel it. If this enderman will just leave us alone. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, we did it! We did it! Leave me alone! No, don't ruin this for me! Don't ruin this for me, Enderman! Why am I being attacked like this? I think it cracked? I think the egg cracked. He hatched! He hatched! And it's raining. Hi, little guy! Hold up, I gotta take a pill. Uh, hold up. I just gotta say, as useless as certain mobs can feel, they sure do add a sense of atmosphere. I mean, Salacia really is amazing with turtles and dolphins. All right, the next thing we're gonna try is going up to our drowned farm and giving one of them a diamond sword. I believe this will turn it into a drowned holding a trident. Okay, here comes a zombie. Let's see if he does what he's supposed to. Yes. Take that. Pick it up. Okay, he got it. Now we just have to wait for him to turn into a drowned. Oh, it worked, I can see the trident in there. All right, let me try to kill these guys. All right, hopefully that worked. Yes, we got a trident. No way, dude, I've literally never had one of these. <laughs> this is so cool, I've always wanted a trident. Let's go to my library and see if I actually have a channeling book. Channeling, hey, we do have channeling. I guess I just never had a use for it. Oh, and I suppose we'll also need loyalty on it, I think. All right, let's give this a shot. Here we go, channeling and loyalty. Now that we have this, there's a bunch of mobs we can try to get. So the first two lightning conversions went perfect, but then things took a turn for the worse and I couldn't get them to work. It's probably my fault. I didn't finish watching his tutorial video. I think sheep struck by lightning are supposed to be goats. Cod struck by lightning are supposed to be salmon. And after chasing a bat around for 10 minutes and finally hitting it, it didn't turn into a parrot. So I gave up on the mobs. I'm running out of time anyways, so I'm just gonna have to take the L on those. But there are two things left on our list that we did not get. The conduit and powder snow. The only way to get the conduit is by villager gifts. So I'm gonna try to go get hero of the village. I went to a pillager outpost and while I was there, it started to thunder. So I figured I might as well try for the polar bear and it worked. So I got a picture with the rascal. I couldn't find the banner guy at this pillager outpost, but luckily I just saw a group of scouts on my way back. I fought through the whole raid and I think I was on like the last round when I just could not find the last raider. After searching for him for like literally 20 minutes, I just gave up. I gave myself the hero of the village effect, but none of the fishermen were dropping anything. I don't know what I did wrong. I'm gonna have to take a big fat L on the conduit as well. But there's one last thing we can get. I'm gonna leave my game on overnight, go in this little hidey hole and hope that we get powder snow in the morning. Oh, it worked, we did it. Oh, we did it. Let's go put this back. I'm, I'm done with this, I gotta edit this video. Not bad at all, guys, not bad at all. We got pretty much everything. But as I said, I gotta go edit this video. I had a lot of fun with this. Shout out to mm, for making the data pack. I've been playing Super Flat so exclusively for so many years that this was my first time seeing a lot of these features in survival. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like on it because if it gets enough likes, I'll make sure to do something like this again in the future. All right guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.
Yeah.